Eucharistic revival was one topic discussed at the Bishop's Institute in Rome this fall. Bishop Kulik reflects on his visit there and meeting Pope Francis for the first time. And the session that I was in, there was almost 180 bishops from around the world that had been ordained in the past three years. I had a wonderful opportunity to spend some time with Bishop Mark Ekman, the Auxiliary Bishop of Pittsburgh, and also Bishop Dave Bonner, who was a Pittsburgh native and is now the Bishop of Youngstown. I also had a wonderful opportunity to meet two newly ordained Filipino bishops uh, and both of these bishops do not have representatives in the Diocese of Greensburg, so I was sort of uh, recruiting and promoting a little bit our international priest program. I also had a wonderful opportunity to meet uh, one of the new Slovak auxiliary bishops, Bishop Peter Benio, who is the auxiliary of Nitra. That also then led to a wonderful interview on Vatican Radio uh, that was broadcast throughout Slovakia. Bishop Kulik was gifted with a mitre while he was in Rome a memory he will never forget. Being of Slovak descent, Bishop Kulik looked up to Slovak Cardinal Joseph Tomko, one of the oldest members of the College of Cardinals. He died in August, just a few weeks before Bishop Kulik traveled to Rome. The sisters who cared for Cardinal Tomko invited Bishop Kulik for a visit while he was there and presented him with the gift. It means so much to me, not only because when I was growing up, you know, Cardinal Tomko was the great uh, hero and uh, was a close collaborator with Pope St. John Paul II and Pope Benedict. So he distributed ashes to Pope St. John Paul, to Pope Benedict, and to Pope Francis. The ultimate highlight in this experience was being able to celebrate Mass at St. Peter's. We were greeted by the Holy Father in the Clementine Chapel, and the Holy Father was so generous with his time he spent over an hour and a half with us, and the format was very relaxed, and he really wanted to hear from the bishops to answer any questions, to have an opportunity for any of us to comment, you know, discuss with us bishops what he felt were some of the great priorities of the church. What I was very pleased and edified with in my experience was that in many of the areas that the Holy Father stressed to us as bishops that we needed to shepherd our dioceses and the people entrusted to our care, I was so proud that in the Diocese of Greensburg, so many of those areas we are covering and we are doing, building up the faith, reconciling people. The Holy Father reminded us to be bishops of humility. He reminded us to be shepherds who are out among the people. And he reminded us how important it was to show mercy and compassion.